A sign of a return to normal. Chicago Restaurant Week is back and tables are booked for in-person dining. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is in the West Loop, taking us into the kitchen with two chefs who call this year a game changer. Chicago Restaurant Week is taking over the city right now, and two restaurants on the list are trying something unique, taking risks to get you into their neighborhood and using their food to do just that. It's a chop for your life kind of night inside the Coco Chili Kitchen. We work really hard. As Nikenya Collins and her small team made up of just family, her son and brother prep for restaurant week. Food is a universal unifier. Nikenya's kitchen is inside this incubator, the hatchery, perched between Humboldt and Garfield Park. Inside, she's one of dozens of chefs growing her business, first as takeout and catering. And now she'll transform this conference room into a fine dining experience. So we want to really tap into that experience of food. Here you'll find Afro-Caribbean flavors, and yes, Coco Chili is on the menu. The inspiration in part comes from Nikenya's grandmother, growing up in a fusion flavor-filled household. It, it's really sad that she's not here to see it, because she would love this. She would absolutely love it. And 14 miles away in South Shore, you'll find the only dining option here at Manjani Soulful Vegan Cuisine. The kitchen busy, serving up eager Restaurant Week diners for the first time. We certainly would like to see more restaurants participate. Um, we'd like to see more restaurants, period, in our community. Chef Sidakia Emanuel and his wife live and work in South Shore. They're hoping to use Restaurant Week to inspire other restaurant tours to open up here, take the risk they did, and draw folks in from outside the neighborhood too. We wanted to be able to uh, share what we thought was amazing cuisine with the community. 350 restaurants are on the list in the city and the suburbs. Chicago Restaurant Week runs through April 10th. In the West Loop, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News.